Hey, what's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to crop your images and save them using Photoshop for Instagram. So Instagram uses a 4x5, 8x10 crop and it compresses the files. But if you want to get a high quality file, you should uh, resize it and compress it for Instagram before you upload it. So that way it won't compress it again. So what you want to do is um, go to your crop here and go down to where it says 4 by 5 which is 8 by 10 and I'm gonna just crop how I, how I want this image. I'll show you how to get the full body in one second here. So you want to crop it. This is 8 by 10 Instagram crop and you just crop it here. Now what you want to do is you want to resize it. Just image image size and one of the tricks to resizing is that you want to resize the image compatible to a 4k screen because I think 1080 screens are going to go out sooner or later you're going to have uh, 4k images or well, 4k screens I'm sorry so what you want to do you want to take the lowest number here which is on my image 3840 and you want to resize it to 2160 and where it says by cubic automatic, you want to switch it out and put by cubic sharpener. Best for a reduction. So it's going to resize it and sharpen, sharpen your picture. So hit OK. And one thing you need to do in order to get the color to match everyone's screen, like the phone, the tablets, the computer, you want to change the color profile so it'll match. So you, what you want to do is you want to go to edit, convert to profile, and you want to choose the sRGB here. Because not a lot of screens have all these other options here. So sRGB. Just hit OK. And there you go. And then you just save it. I'm going to save it to my Dropbox. You know, here. You know, I do my maximum quality and everything. So that's the 8 by 10 crop here. So let me show you how to get the full body, which is the same concept. So what you want to do, grab the 8 by 10. And I'm going to crop it here. But I want to get the full body. So what I'm going to do is drag this down. Now it's going to show the edges white for this particular image well all images now this technique works if you have lines that are the same like going this way going vertical and horizontal and so what you want to do I'm gonna take this I'm gonna take the edge here grab my selection tool gonna copy the edge here. I'm going to paste it. Then I'm going to go to edit, free transform, and I'm just going to drag it out. And I'm going to do the same thing. Uh oh, I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. I'm just going to grab my selection tool here. And I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to paste that. Going to drag it out. There we go. Now, once you get that done, if you have any like lines here that you can see where you copy and paste, you can always take the clone stamp and go over it to get rid of the line. But I'm going to merge it together, merge visible. Now you want to do the same thing again. You want to image, image sides, the lowest number, which is the width on this picture. I'm going to do the same thing, 2160. And I'm going to go to by cubic sharpener. Hit OK. 
So now when you get ready to upload it, it'll crop it for the 8x10, but it should be the full body. And you want to change the color profile once again. Go to Edit, Convert to Profile, is RGB, hit OK, and save as whatever you want to save it. I'm just going to throw it in there. No highest quality. And there you go. That's my tutorial on how to get the highest quality image for your Instagram. And thanks for watching.